There is a new pandemic sweeping the arena ladder from rival to gladiator ratings. It's called the Goldilocks problem, and there is a good chance you have been one of its victims. Luckily for you, the doctors at Skillcapped have been working hard to find a cure, and today we have the solution for you. So stay tuned as we tell you what this Goldilocks problem is and how you can fix it. Let's jump right into it and see victim number one of this WoW Arena epidemic. You probably have been in this situation before, stunned by a rogue while your partners are in CC. But if you're a smart player, you should already know what this team will try to do. If we look at the rogue's frame, they are playing a one-shot sepsis build, which we can tell by the Mark of the Master Assassin Legendary. What this means is that this team will try and do one huge bang to try and land a kill with Vanish, Vendetta, and Sepsis. This opener, however, will wind up being a bait, as none of these things will get used. And despite this, our Paladin will use his biggest defensive cooldown just to break out of the stun. So, just to recap, despite the fact that the biggest offensives haven't even been used by the one-shot rogue, our Paladin trades out his strongest defensive CD. Now, we need to fast forward to the next critical moment in this game, bearing in mind that we just used our biggest defensive cooldown, which means we need to try and win the game fast. Here, our paladin finds himself in yet another kidney shot, and at the top of the screen, you can see the priest has just used their biggest offensive. On top of that, our paladin is almost off forbearance with Blessing of Protection available. The time to start winning the game is now. Instead, our pally sits this second kidney for its entire duration, despite having a CC break available with Trinket and the opportunity to reverse pressure. But we're not done yet, because again, we have to go forward in time to the final interaction of this game, which was the moment we had been worried about since the beginning. And that is right here, where the enemy rogue finally commits Vendetta Sepsis. Luckily, we still have Bop available with no forbearance, but unfortunately, Blessing of Protection is nowhere to be found, and our paladin quickly falls to the infamous Sepsis one-shot combo. But what went wrong in this game? Early on, he used his biggest defensive when it wasn't even necessary, trading Bubble when Vendetta and Sepsis weren't even committed. Then, when he was actually face-to-face -face with the real win condition, not a single button was pressed. So in essence, he used too many CDs when they weren't needed, and then not enough CDs when they actually were needed. We see this mistake all the time, and we're calling it the Goldilocks problem. On one side, people are too hot with their CDs, using too many when it's not even necessary. But at the same time, players can be too cold with their defensives, not using enough when they are actually needed. Somewhere in the middle, you have the perfect cooldown trade. Not too much and not too little. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, whoa, too hot. Mm -hmm. oh, too cold. Well, this doesn't take a genius. It should be obvious by now why it can be bad to play cold and not trade enough CDs. In an expansion as explosive as Shadowlands, sitting through the enemy's offensives is a convenient way to gamble with death. Consider this moment here. Can you spot at least three reasons why our Shaman is in danger? For one, his healer is CC'd. Next up, the rogue has Shadow Blades popped. And finally, the priest is casting mind games. Despite all of this, not a single person responds with the defensive, even though the enemy team had just burned two trinkets to get this aggressive opener. There were a lot of things that our team could have done to save this situation, but unfortunately, nothing was used during this absolutely critical moment. This problem affects everyone, but tends to punish healers the hardest. Speaking from experience, healing in Shadowlands requires you to react really quickly and pop a CD when needed. And if you don't, well, that is a GG. Unfortunately, dying over and over like this can cause the opposite problem, being too hot with defensive cooldowns. While using too few CDs is a good way to speedrun an instant loss, using too many CDs is a great way to lose in under two minutes. Take a look at this Fey Guardians. We are only eight seconds into this game with no offensives used from the enemy team, and our priest just threw away 40% damage reduction into nothing. Okay, no big deal, we still have gas in the tank, right? Well, let's see. Here, our Shaman finds themselves face to face with the offensive CDs of the enemy team, so they trade their wall. Perfect, we press on. During this period though, our priest uses both of their serenity charges, which leaves them with no healing when they press guardian. Now we are quickly running out of resources. Fey Guardians, Astral Shift, and now Guardian Spirit have all been traded within the 30 second window. And not long after, Ray of Hope will be burned. That means our last line of defense is now gone against a team that hasn't even used any of their trinkets. That will make finding the path to victory next to impossible since we have no resources left to survive damage spikes. Our team loses this game, by the way. So what happened? Our priests used CDs, so how could they possibly lose? 
Unfortunately, they were just too sensitive with their buttons, and by using Fey Guardians in the opener when nothing was happening, it set up a chain reaction where they were forced to trade inefficiently throughout the game, leading to a loss in just over a minute. This is exactly what happens when too many CDs are used. Instead of losing instantly, a chain reaction gets started where eventually nothing is left to survive. Before we show you how to fix the Goldilocks problem, we have companion courses covering this topic in detail at skillcap.com. There you will learn how to become a smarter player with your defensive cooldowns, and with access to over 600 class courses and arena commentaries, it's no wonder we offer a money back guarantee if you don't gain at least 250 rating while using our website. Visit the link in the description for a discount link to start your PvP journey today. Fixing the Goldilocks problem means finding the right amount of cooldowns to trade, but how do you know exactly what CDs are needed in every situation? Well, we're glad you asked, but unfortunately, there isn't really a list of every possible cooldown trade for every situation. Maybe some sort of AI could figure that out, but what are we left to do as players? For one, it starts by understanding cooldown value, which is a combination of strength and efficiency. Think of an ability like Feral Frenzy. It won't 100-0 your character, but its damage can be pretty scary, and with a low cooldown, it is quite efficient. This is a relatively high value offensive ability. Now on the flip side, think of File of Serenity. It's not going to bring your HP from 0 to 100, but it's essentially a free CD that you can use at least once per game. Not the strongest cooldown by itself, but still pretty good. Now also consider the fact that many Feral Druids will use Berserk with Feral Frenzy, which will cause a super powerful bleed called Sickle of the Lion. Since you can only use File of Serenity once per game, you might want to keep it in reserve for moments when Feral Frenzy, especially when it's used with Berserk. That way, your Kyrian Potion gains enormous value because it is able to counteract two cooldowns at the same time. Generally speaking, this is how you should think of cooldown trades. Your goal is to extract as much value out of your abilities to respond to your opponents. Sometimes you can find one-to-one -one trades, like using Blessing of Protection into Vendetta, or even Alter Time into Spear of Bastion. This is what is known as scripting your CDs. This can work on paper, but you can't rely on making a perfect cooldown script for every matchup. Sometimes you will need to use your defensives outside of enemy CDs, like when you need to stay alive while your healer is CC'd. In any case, the goal is to avoid using too many or too few CDs, but instead focus on being efficient. With that said, there are some comps which force you to trade aggressively. Ret Warrior is a perfect example. Damage during Avenging Wrath is so strong that it can kill your character two times over even through CDs. What this means is that you might need to be liberal with cooldowns into their burst. If you are a Holy Priest, for instance, you might need to trade both Guardian Spears and other defensives at the same time in order to counteract Wings and Conqueror's Banner. Again, it would be next to impossible to list every single efficient cooldown trade for every single matchup, but one thing that is consistent among all the world's best players is that they try to be as value-driven as possible. They don't necessarily play harder, but instead play smarter. And once again, if you're looking to become a smarter player and gain at least 250 rating, look no further than skillcap.com. Our new course goes through rival and duelist rated clips, pointing out key mistakes with cooldown trades, and trains you how to become a smarter player. Visit the link below for a discount link to start your PvP journey today. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for this one. Let us know what you think in the comments below. As always though, thank you all for watching, see you soon.